What's good everybody, it's Mohamza from Uther Gaming and I'm coming back to you guys with a brand new video. I know I did not upload yesterday and I said I was going to upload every single day. So as compensation for me not uploading, I am going to be doing a raffle away for that BLS link monster like Blackbuster Soldier, Envoy Soldier of Chaos, whatever you guys know. All you guys have to do is literally comment down anything down below and by the end of the day tonight, I will go ahead and pick a winner and announce it in the next video. And the other thing I wanted to announce was the winner of our French Nibiru giveaway winner and that winner is right here Camilla Stacy I hope I'm not butchering that name make sure you go ahead and message me on discord or Facebook so I can contact you and figure out how I can ship this card out again it is absolutely free again guys like let's try and get 13 likes on this video subscribe if you haven't already because they're trying to hit 7k by the end of the year without further ado guys let's get straight into this video Alright guys, so I'm sure you saw from the title of the video, this is going to be talking about the Archetype Drytrons and how to beat them. Because if you guys don't know, um, the LCS that we just had recently had two top 16 Drytrons. One was a fellow content creator in Pack, and then the other one came second place, I believe, which was Jesse Cotton, another well-known duelist. So this deck is going to rise in popularity, especially with the release of Genesis Impact. And I feel like making a video sort of highlighting their main plays, their choke points, and when to stop them is going to be pretty good um, in that regard. But anyways, guys... Uh, like I said before, like the video and let's get right into it. So right here, there's a summary of the Drytrons, their playstyles. They're all level 1 monsters that share their attack being 2k and 0 defense and they all have the same effect, which is for the most part, cannot be normal summoned or set, must be special summoned with the effect of a Drytron card. You can tribute one other Drytron monster or one ritual monster from your hand or field, special summon this card from your hand or graveyard in defense position, then you can blah blah blah. And basically some of them would be like, add a spell, add a monster, summon one from hand, summon one from graveyard add back so they all have like these like really niche utility effects and then again they have the clause where you cannot special summon monsters except monsters that cannot be normal summoned slash set the turn you activate this effect and that goes for every single thing and then again you can only use this effect of this card once returned so all hard ones returned very very cool now moving on guys so this is just dry transfer their play style they're like a ritual based deck but they don't really summon ritual monsters in archetype they only have like one ritual monster i think it's like the herald of perfection or ultimateness but anyways yeah so that's just the drytron guys and now moving on to like one of the main cards i guess you want to be able to stop in the deck would be Cy uh, drytron alpha thuban now again like i said before they all have the same effect can't be normal summon must be special summon with the effect of drytron card you can tribute one other drytron monster or one ritual monster from your hand or field special summon this card from your hand or graveyard in defense position then you can add one ritual monster from your deck to your hand. You can all special and blah, 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 and you can only use the attack on your turn. Okay, so you guys can see right here, Alpha Thuban is like one of the main cards in the deck because he has the recursion in the graveyard, but he can also add a monster on summon. So this is a card that you guys for sure are going to want to negate if possible. Um, I'm just going to talk about like the main energy cards and then I'm going to go on to like more cards that we can disrupt. So again, Alpha Thuban is one of the main cards that you want to aim to hit and I will explain the best cards to hit Thuban um, later on. But again, um, just Alpha Thuban, honestly, if you guys have a hand trap or something to stop this card from resolving, you should absolutely use it here, especially if you don't know what the deck does because I feel like not a lot of people know what the deck really does. And again, they all have the very same effect where it's like in the graveyard, you can do this, 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 and then when it's summoned, you can add this. However, this is all in like sort of like one instance where it's like it's in the graveyard use effect you tribute and now its effect is declared if you don't stop it when it's summoned it will automatically search very similar to um flur um in that regard again um there are a lot of cards that actually have that sort of like little play style so i think it's a really cool mechanic something that you guys need to remember because remember again this card says in the graveyard activate its effect then when it's summoned, add, but it's all in one thing. It's not like in the graveyard activates effect, summon activates effect, right? So that's another thing you guys need to understand. Um, and I will get into detail more or less later on. But again, this was one of like the main engine cards you want to stop. Another card you want to be able to stop is Cyber Angel Benten. Now, again, this card says you can ritual this card with Cyber Machine Engine Ritual. But again, you don't, you, uh, okay, I know I say again a lot, but you don't care about that effect. The only thing you care about is if this card is tributed, you can add one light fairy monster from your deck to your hand. That that's very problematic because it doesn't say if this card is tributed from the field, from the hand, it doesn't matter. Thuban and any of the other um, Drytron monsters can tribute Benten from the hand to trigger off Benten. So understand this, if you have Alpha in your graveyard, Alpha will trigger, you can tribute it. I don't believe it's cost, is it or is it cost? Hand or field? Yeah, so it's cost. So again, 
you can go ahead you use this you tribute one other dragon monster or one ritual monster so you use alpha alpha will tribute benten and then you'll summon alpha alpha will search and then benten will search and then benten will go ahead and grab your herald of ultimateness or perfection whichever one you guys want to play that's what it will grab so this is another card that you guys should for sure um keep an eye out for try to prevent your opponent from grabbing benten if you can or try and stun your opponent um on that as well again it doesn't really matter there are a lot of ways um to sort of stop uh the like ben 10 and whatever but again now i'm uh, moving on to another engine card you want to keep an eye out for it is a uh, pre-prep of rights or preparation of rights both um you know they do their own thing but again pre-prep is another card it says add one ritual spell from your deck to your hand and add one ritual monster from your deck to your graveyard to your hand whose name is listed on that ritual spell okay so you're like okay it's not that bad you know you add a ritual spell from your deck to your to your hand and then you can add a ritual monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand whose name is listed on that ritual spell but now understand something right this card not only can add from deck to your hand but it can add a ritual monster from the deck or graveyard right and cyber angel benten is a monster that you can add from the graveyard on top of that, Benten is an older card, so of course Benten's not going to have a hard ones per turn effect. And now we know that Konami really hates old cards being abused, and like, let me just preface this by looking at literally Smoke Grenade, who's not a hard ones per turn, you can abuse it. This card says, not a one, not once in its single effects, even the garbage effect where it says it destroys monsters by his battle sense of graveyard, literally the good effect is not a once per turn. So pre-prep is another card that you guys should definitely keep an eye out for. You should be able to stop this card. If you have multiple negates, try and negate this card. If you have other sorts of forms of disruption, guys, please go ahead and try and just stop this card from actually just playing the game. Because literally, this is just so insane. Um, I don't really know. Um, like They have a lot of sort of choke points. Another choke point I wanted to talk about that I don't actually have um, as a picture would be Union Carrier. Now, again, the reason why I say Union Carrier is because of this same instance. So let me go ahead. Let me pull out Union Carrier for you guys so you guys can sort of understand it a little bit better so right here we're gonna pull out unicare okay unicare says it's two monsters with the same type or attribute cannot be used as link material to turn link some you don't care about that Target one face up monster you control equip one monster to it from your hand or deck with the same original type or attribute to equip monster gains 1000 attack that's all we care about we don't care about the other thing and the reason why we don't care about the other thing i mean the other things are restrictions so we don't really care but again the reason why we don't care is let's go back to the drytron homepage where it says um blah blah blah. you can special this card from your graveyard and they all have the effects where all monsters share their 2000 attack and that will be the requirement they need okay union carrier will bump his own attack into 1000 being able to get him here and then on top of that as well union carrier will go ahead and equip him this card right here which is called ava and if you guys don't know what ava does is ava will say if this card is sent to the graveyard banish up to two other light fairy monsters from your field and or graveyard add the same number of level two or lower light monsters and that will enable them to go ahead and let me grab this card too because um I mean, why not? That will literally enable you to get any of the lights, right? It can get green light, it can get orange light, it can get purple light. Green light is spells, um, orange light is monsters, and then purple light is traps. So again, you guys really need to keep an eye out for those cards to hit. The main card I would say to hit is once they go into a union carrier play. I feel like it's very like... Um, indicative of like them kind of committing to union carrier so it means that they absolutely need the union carrier to go off so that's why i feel like hitting union carrier is actually pretty good now let's move on to some hand traps that or just other ways of winning the game that i feel like are pretty good so the first cards oh, i'm going to talk about are imperm imperm and nibiru yeah i don't know what language that was so imperm is a really interesting card because it doesn't stop any of the dry trunks because like i said before they all have the effect where it says you contribute one ritual special on this card from your hand or graveyard in defense position and imperm will not have a legal target to stick on board imperm can hit union here however but it cannot hit benten so this is why i'm saying that if you guys want to play cards like imperm valor you guys should definitely think about not playing them and maybe moving on to these other hand traps that i am going to be talking about so again another hand trap that's very interesting is going to be nibiru and again like i said before nibiru is is it might be good it might be bad it's very hard to say just because nibiru doesn't really do much to their board they can obviously play through it um fairly easily especially if they already have um orange light well if, especially if they already have orange light access it is pretty hard to deal with i just feel like nibiru in itself is just in a weird place um against this deck it's not really a deck a card that i would preach for you guys to absolutely play as a three of because there are better cards that i'm going to be talking about later on and speaking of one of the better cards it is going to be ghost spell and haunted mansion now this card is going to be absolutely insane this card is cracked and everything it does against the drytron archetype and the strategy because this card says when a card or effect is activated that includes any of these effects discard this card negate the activation okay add a card from 
from graveyard to the hand deck and or extra deck, special on the monster from the graveyard, banish a card from the graveyard. Now, if we look at the Drytrons, um, most notably we look at Alpha. This guy says you can tribute one other Drytron monster or one ritual monster from your hand or field, special on this card from your hand or graveyard in defense position. Since it has the words or graveyard in defense position, Ghost Spell can legally hit it. It's very similar to having Nibiru, I mean not Nibiru, sorry, Gizmek in your opponent's hand. They go Gizmek, you can bell it. They go Destrudo target, you can bell it. I mean, rest in peace, Destrudo. But you can legally activate Ghost Spell to stop those cards. Very similar to when they Gamma in the hand, you can um, bell that as well. So bell is very good. It's going to definitely go up in play, um, in popularity as well. And I feel like bell is another card that you can definitely play over Imperm and Nibiru. And we all know that bell isn't that expensive. It's been reprinted multiple times. So make sure you guys go ahead and get your hands on these Ghost Spells. Another card, of course, is Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring. I mean, Ash is as good as possible. Ash has just always been goaded. Like, no matter what format we're in, Ash can hit everything. Um, every single Drytron literally will summon and add. Um, I make sure you Ash... Honestly, just Ash Alpha if you can. Like, stop Alpha from hitting the board. If they hard draw any of the monsters, it does suck, but I mean, that's how most decks are anyways. Um, Ash Benton, if you can, as well. Ash is a very good card, and for sure, it's going to see play um, moving on to the future. Another card is going to be D-Shifter. Now again, like I said before, in literally every single video that plays D-Shifter or I talk about D-Shifter, this is an S plus tier card. This card is absolutely cracked in what it does because it says if you have no cards in the graveyard, send this card to the graveyard until the end of the next turn, any card sent to the graveyard is banished instead. And this will absolutely stop all of our cards. Again, unfortunately, um, it doesn't really stop uh, Benten because it says this card is distributed, but it will for sure stop any of the um, Drytron cards from floating, any of them to hit the graveyard. So D Shifter is a very problematic card um, in what it can do. Another card to stop or use against them is Retaliating C because it says when your opponent activates a spell card that includes an effect that special summons a monster, special summon this card from your hand. If summoned this way, it becomes a macro cosmos. It's pretty funny because they're going to use their ritual spells to summon their heralds or summon their cyber angels or anything like that. And we can actually use Retaliating C to just stun our opponent from actually playing the game they do have that one spell card i don't really remember its name but it's like summoned from the deck and retaliating c can actually just sit on the board and sort of just be a macro cosmos and again prevent them from floating so if your deck can't play d shifter it can play Ra retaliating c it doesn't really matter staying on to the um topic of hand traps still we are going to be talking about cyframe gear gamma and gambling any of these is very good gambling alpha hurts a lot but gambling union carrier might hurt the most because they're committing two monsters to the board you gamma this now they lose their monster so they actually just can't tribute their monsters from the field those two monsters went into this link monster that you negated they needed the effect to resolve chances are they use like two cards to get into this and the third card they only have like two cards in hand granted they're not really good cards because they don't have monsters on the field so who knows honestly gamma could be very powerful it could be a really good choke point the two main cards that i would say and that my little brother have been telling me to stop as well would be alpha tuban and cyber angel benten moving on again onto the same category as ghost spell is going to be skullmeister these two cards have not seen a lot of play right and i mean they were played later on when bell was released there was like some debate whether she was going to be played or not skullmeister was played in the ocg against dinos and again this guy says when the card effect is activated in your opponent's graveyard send this card to the graveyard from your hand to the graveyard negate that effect it is a not a hard one to return um so again bell is a hard one to return so you can just spam up skullmeisters if they have maybe a thuban maybe i think zeta was it maybe the other ones so skullmeister is going to be a pretty good card as well soft slide their floating effect can stop benten it can stop ava in the graveyard and then skullmeister is a really good card and then of course last but not least we are going to go ahead and talk about probably the best card to stop every single one of these decks is going to be droll and lockbird again i don't really think i should explain droll but i will just for the sake of the video if a card is added from the main deck to your opponent's hand except during the draw phase send this card from your hand to the graveyard for the rest of this turn cards cannot be added from either player's main deck to the hand now this is going to stop a lot of strategies because again like i said for alpha on summon adds right ben 10 will add as well on top of that union carrier when it equips ava will add we had pre-prep as well um it, you know ava will be able to add the herald and then union carrier again like step four will add it and then we have pre-prep then we have prep as well and then we have all the cyber angel cards every single card will add and literally drone lockbird is going to be the absolute insane card that can stop a lot of this deck's um you know play style again um the other one i think is like mistaken arrest i didn't really have it on this but uh, some people wanted me to talk about it i think this card's like um new player can add cards from their decks to the hand except by drawing them and then a, a good card in the mirror match honestly i believe um would be shared ride 
and the reason why i say shared rise is again it's like a sort of a maxi um except when they add cards so worst case scenario if you are playing the mirror match and you don't really want to put droll or you didn't see droll you can just share die your opponent and now you can constantly be drawing cards as they add so again i feel like it is pretty good as well now that was it for like my ways of stopping drytron personally if you guys want to see choke points or anything like that please let me know down below because this is a deck that's gotten popular recently and i talked about it in my top five list where i said that for sure this deck can actually hit tier one um level and again we saw in the lcs that it did hit the tier one level again guys Thank you for watching my videos. Shout out to Camilla for winning um, my giveaway. And again, like I said before, I will be doing a raffle for the Black Luster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos card. Um, so make sure you go ahead and comment down below. And literally anything. And at the end of the day, I will go ahead and pick a winner. But again, guys, this is Hamza. Let's roll the outro. All right, guys, so that was the end of the video. If you made it to the end of the video, go ahead and like this video. If it's not at 13 likes, guys, let's try and bump it up to 14 likes. Again, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you made it to the end of the video, why don't you go ahead and comment down uh, machine. Yeah, let's go ahead and comment down machine. Anyways, guys, this is Hamza. Thanks for watching my videos. Like I always say, keep on shining. Never go by your dreams. Peace.